Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in to today's second video. We're going to have a look at, well, at the weather for the next 10 to 14 days for today's second video, day 10. It's going to take us to the 18th of March and we'll be able to extend out beyond that instead of GFS and ECM ensembles where we've run a couple of weeks. Have a look at the CFS E2 at the end of the video for the next four weeks. Gets us into early April. I'll get on back for you in a moment. Just say that first video release day was our 6 a.m. upload. So please check out all the videos uh, for today if you'd like to do that, or both of them. Um, if you'd like to do that, no uh, European Outlook, you know, extended e see you're up and out this week i'm hoping to get everything back on track by the beginning of april ish so that's that's the plan you know hopefully we'll be able to get the videos back to normal by beginning of april ish it has been a very very difficult time guys of his towers i'm sure you all appreciate thank you so much for your for your support and uh, just just sticking with it bearing with me and uh, hopefully we'll get things back uh as normal before too much longer uh, yeah, but please like, share, subscribe to the video. Thank you so much, everybody, for doing that. I hope you have a lovely, lovely Tuesday uh, as well. Right. Okay, let's begin then. I'm going to start off with this. This is a new view for the Arctic Oscillation Observed and Forecast. Look at this. We've uh, still got a black line showing where we've been with the uh, AO and the GFS ensembles at the end showing uh, where the uh, AO is forecast to go. Uh, over the next uh, few weeks, but um, this is a change, you know, it's a fresher look, I think it looks better, uh, fresher look, let me know in the comments what you think, I think this is a, a clearer view, you know, uh, for what's happened, um, but yeah, let me know in the comments what you think, so uh, generally the AO has been in a positive phase, as we've seen from a black line here throughout most of the week, we did go negative, famously, infamously, uh, around Christmas, that's when the blocking signal increased, and we almost had a cold Christmas, but it just went down the tubes at the last moment, and um, and after that, you know, just solidly positive, really, with the uh, AO from beginning to end, particularly in February, where we had that exceptionally mild uh, February. Uh, going forward, the GFS Ensembles forecast that the AO will stay weakly positive over the next week, and then will go more strongly positive into the uh, second half of uh, March. So, um, positivity of the AO continues. This has been a prolonged positive phase of the Arctic Oscillation. Um, you know, started at the beginning of winter, really. We did have that more negative phase, second half of December. But really, it's been going on since early December. Uh, and perhaps even into November, to some degree. So, uh, this long, long run of the positive AO goes on. And this tells us that the Azor side will continue to be rather strengthened. And we will continue to have low pressure over the Arctic and over the North Pole. Remember, the East indexes are just reflecting that's what state. They do not drive anything in their own terms. It just tells what they're actually doing. So, when the uh, AO is positive, got low pressure over the Arctic over when the air is negative, got high pressure uh, blocking over the Arctic and over North Pole, blocking the routes getting cold air out of pole down into mid latitude. So when you've got all this low pressure, it's like the polar vortex really over the Arctic and the North Pole, and that keeps the cold air bottled in. Got a new view for the NAO as well. This is the NAO uh, observed and forecast chart um, as well. So uh, yeah, check this out too. Uh, again, black line shows where I've been with the NAO, generally positive through most of winter. GFS ensembles, red lines and N forecast where the uh, NEO is forecasting to go. And again, positivity of the NEO goes on into the second half of March. There's no sign of any change. Both of these indexes are going to continue to be in the positive phase of their indexes, you know, AO and NEO uh, going forward, as they have been throughout most of the winter. It goes on uh, three months. So fundamentally, there's no sign of like a fundamental sort of pattern change within the Northern Hemisphere or within the Arctic and, and Polar and Atlantic regions. A positive AO-NEO combination that we've had all winter is set to continue. One thing that could change uh, the setup is the uh, stratospheric warming that is well and truly in place at the moment. This is the latest forecast from the uh, GFS 6Z uh, from Metro City. Again, you see these green, and we've talked about this in the videos a lot over the past few weeks, these green yellow curves, they are the warmer temperatures at uh, 10 HPA in the stratosphere, but have pushed out the cold temperatures, the blue curves, the polar vortex roots essentially, being pushed out, uh, displaced from the pole in towards uh, the mid latitudes, in towards Russia and, and northern parts uh, of Europe. Significant warming, not a certain stratosphere warming, but a significant warming that has weakened zone winds considerably. Um, over the next few days, those blue colours actually try and come back, so we try and strengthen the polar vortex, get it back to the pole, try to get itself back to the pole uh, once again. But the, the warmer colours continue, and then they sort of strengthen again on this GFS run as we go to day 10 and beyond it. See how the yellow colours turn orange, almost red. Again, another very significant warming of the stratosphere taking place at 10 HPA uh, over the North Pole as we get into the second half of March. That one will probably, if it comes off, might not come off, 
off zone forecast, but if it does come off, that will probably reverse zone winds. And there should be an impact with this, these developments. You know, by the time you get into April, we should see an impact in terms of uh, the AO and um, perhaps the LEO as well beginning to, to change the state that they've been in over the past several months. This is a very, very significant development that we see here over the Arctic and over North Pole, and it should lead to a reversal of zone winds if this second warming comes off, which should eventually change the fundamental setup that we've really been in since like late August, early September, to be honest. GFS on this from webrescool.com. GFS on some was increasingly forecasting that the uh, zonal winds are going to go into reverse. So we have had a dramatic weakening of zonal winds from where they were uh, a couple of weeks ago in record strong state. Had a weakening of zonal winds. They're going to re-strengthen over the next few days. It takes a while for these uh, really strong zonal winds to wind down. But look at this. We, we are seeing some GFS ensembles now. What's my line? It's got a bit wonky. Um, we are seeing a few GFS ensembles, uh, ensemble members now going for a reversal of zonal winds uh, by sort of the third to fourth week of March. And that would be in response to this second significant warming of the stratosphere that we see here. If we get this, I reckon that will be enough after the warming we're currently going through. Um, I reckon that will be enough to uh, send zonal winds fully into reverse. So reverse of zonal winds after a second uh, stratospheric warming could be on the way to the second half of March, which should then start to fundamentally change the northern hemispheric setup. Right, CT, something like this. We're currently standing at 5.7, which is one degree above average. It's come down a lot from where it was uh, a few days ago. That's probably going to start rising more over the next few days as it is going to start turning milder. These are the GFS upper air temperature and precipitation ensembles next couple of weeks. Looking at Cheltenham today. Uh, Cheltenham Festival coming up uh, next week. Uh, Gold Cup, I think, is on the 18th, Friday, 18th of uh, March. So uh, someone asked me to have a look at, uh, at Cheltenham. I and mean, you see it can be generally milder than average over the next couple of weeks. There is a little cooler interlude just there from around the top to the 14th of March. We're starting off milder than average at the moment and then going really potentially very mild around the 17th, 18th of March. And that could carry on into the final week of the month as well. It's a little bit of scatter, so there are some colder ensemble members. But overall, it looks like the upper air temperatures are, you know, uh, going to be in a mild phase over the next couple of weeks. Precipitation wise, starting reasonably dry and then turning more under settled actually from uh, later this week onwards and that carries on through the middle part of the month so it's relatively mild but potentially quite wet temperature anomalies from the 8th to the 16th of march are going to be above average precipitation anomalies from the 8th 16th of march drive an average in the east and a little bit wetter than average out to the west the latest wind from that from earth nullschool.net has low pressure in the atlantic but we're turning the wind into the south that's going to draw up milder air uh from the south today Right, so let's start going through some chart data. Then this other UK Met Euro run is looking for midnight on Friday. Uh, low pressure out to west and drawing up these mild southerly winds. So a deep low pressure to the west of Ireland by Saturday to Sunday. That could bring some quite stormy weather into the west. And then further low pressure up to the beginning of next week. Low pressure begins to slip south. So it might allow some higher pressure to begin to build behind it to the north and west. Icon looks like that again, drawing up those southerly winds, but also. So, uh, so it will be mild, but also unsettled, wet and winding over the weekend. And then early next week, higher pressure tries to get a little bit more of an ascendancy with Icon. Certainly by Tuesday, some ridging to our southeast, but still deep low pressure out in the Atlantic. GFS midnight run again with those mild southerly winds over the weekend. Looks quite stormy uh, around Sunday. <coughs> Excuse me. And then into Opa next week, a little bit more influence. From higher pressure, which by day 10 is getting itself up towards Scandinavia and pulling wind into the east. Not particularly cold easterly, but we do sort of set up easterlies into the second half of March via this Scandinavian high type pattern. That eventually could turn into quite a cold easterly, you see, but by the 24th March, it's a long way out. The air is actually originating from sort of northern Russia and coming across uh, Europe. So eventually that could turn into quite a cold easterly, but of course that's very, very extended rain stuff. And even then, the coldest of your breath temperature is still away. From the east. So it's playing, yes, generally in spring, normally it will be colder than east. But you, in March, anyway, you can get a cold east. It's less so in uh, April. And of course, no cold from the east in May. Actually, May um, has quite warm east. It is. East is quite a warm wind direction in May. 
GFS 6Z again with low pressure in the ascendancy over the next few days. Eventually some ridging begins to take place uh, by day 10. That's the 18th of March, which is Gold Cup day. So that's a drier day for the Gold Cup after quite a bit of rain. And then early next week, low pressure just carries on driving in off the Atlantic. So no easterly uh, with the uh, GFS 6Z today. Okay, let's continue and we move on to the GEM. And if you're enjoying this video, then please do you smash your like button, everybody. Make sure you subscribe to our channel. Thank you so much for doing that. And drop a comment. Let's know what you think about this and all of our videos. Thank you so much. Uh, right, GEM then, uh, looking like this on Friday. We've got low pressure to the west and high pressure to the east. We're drawing up these mild or very mild southerly winds. Into weekend, it looks like it turn quite stormy with this low down to southwest. It depends how close. It gets to the country, but does look very, very unsettled, I have to say, over the weekend into the beginning of next week. Um, we try and build some higher pressure to ourselves and ease through next week, but low pressure with the GEM keeps a little bit stronger through next week until day 10 itself, when we do get a bit of a ridge building from the southwest. I think the GEM is a little bit more unsettled for next week, as it often is, to be fair. This is how the uh, ECM is looking again, drawing up these subly winds, so it will be mild at the end of the week, but will also be unsettled with low pressure to our west. And then uh, further low pressure coming up against this ridge building to the east. That brings particularly wet weather into western areas, probably not quite as stormy, perhaps, over the weekend. Although, I have to say, but certainly midnight certainly does look pretty stormy for Ireland, anyway. Perhaps not quite as stormy for west parts of the UK. Eventually, by uh, day 10, high pressure is building over to the east of the that can be a very spring-like pattern with winds coming up from a southerly southeast direction. It depends how much sunshine there is, but assuming there's quite a bit of sunshine with that, we might get the temperature into the mid teens, maybe in the upper upper teens Celsius. You know, uh, with that. So uh, ECM looking very, very spring-like potentially for the third week of um March. This is my precipitation forecast based on that ECM run from Tometio.com. Lots of rain piling into uh, the west um, over the next few days. Maybe becoming even more widespread at the end of the week and into the weekend. That's the unsettled uh, weather that we have going on into the weekend as well. There's a little bit of sleet and snow mixed in with that. I'm not sure how seriously to take that. Um, but plenty of rain to come anyway until we get to around day 10 and then things are drying out. These are the options on the table within the ECM Ensemble today for day 10. Gets us to the 18th of March. 22 members of the ECM Ensemble have high pressure over and to the east of the country. Low pressure away to the north and west. Jet stream is pushed north. It's mainly dry and quite spring-like. With that, you would have thought bringing wind up from a southerly southeast direction. 22, again, with high pressure over Scandinavia. Low pressure out to the west of uh, Ireland and UK. UK, sorry, lose my voice. Uh, and we're drawing up winds from a southerly southeast direction. And then seven with high pressure again, just to the east, bringing up wind from southeast direction. Most of the models look pretty, most of the options, I should say, look pretty spring like for, for day 10. In two weeks' time, uh, these are the options that we've got. Gets us to the 23rd of March. 27 members of the ECL ensemble is kind of in line with a GFS midnight run, taking that high pressure further north. And of course, that will bring in the wind a little bit more from an easterly. Uh, direction. So that could be a little bit colder by then if the wind goes properly east or north east. And then 24 takes high pressure just to the west. Still mainly dry, but perhaps a bit cooler with winds coming in from more of a northwesterly uh, direction there. Uh, lastly, CFS V2 beats a 500 millibar high tonnage breakdown to meet periods. The first week period takes from the 8th to 14th of March. Uh, this week, uh, we're currently in, we'll have high pressure over slightly to the east of the country. And we bring up the wind from like a southerly, southeasterly direction. Lower pressure will be out to west. So wettest in the west, driest in the east. By the time we get through to week two, the battle continues. This is the 15th to 21st of March. Low pressure again to the west. High pressure is to the east. And up come those southerly winds. And they'll be very mild southerly winds uh, potentially as well. Proper old takes of spring there. Bit of a change for week three, which is the 22nd, 28th of March. High pressure goes to our west southwest end, low pressure to our west northwest. Winds coming in a little bit more westerly with that. And then week four is going to be the 29th of March, 4th of April. Again, high pressure just to our west. So you've got some low pressure to the north, though, you know. So up to the beginning of April, no sign of a, of a change within the. Um, Tropospheric setup, you know, with 500 millibar height only setup, no sign of a change in response to the stratospheric warming with the CFS so far. The weight continues for size of blocking that uh, might result from these stratospheric developments. We may not get a response. Sometimes you don't get a response with the troposphere 
to uh, what's happening in the stratosphere. But I think we will. I think we'll change the pattern in April. Let me know in the comments what you think. I think in April we're going to change the pattern from the long-standing pattern that we've been in since uh, August, really. Um, you know, I think we will probably see a fundamental pattern change at some point in the next few weeks in response to the stratospheric developments. But, 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 time will tell. Right, if you enjoyed the video, please smash the like button, make sure you subscribe to our channel, thank you so much for doing that, drop a comment, let us know what you think about this and all of our videos, and don't forget to tell your friends about Gazwebids. We just need to put on 12 more subscribers now to get to 13.3k, just 12 subs will get us there, so please, please, please get us to 12 Point three, uh, 13, I should say, point three k subscribers. Thank you so much, everybody, uh, for doing that. Right, okay, that's it for doing today's videos. Tomorrow, so you see, I'll upload and attend to 14 day or two. For this one, though, that's all for now, and thanks for watching.